Morning everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm John and this is Road Rodent Restore. And in this video we'll be getting this rolling chassis unrolling. And I can't wait for the day I'll be doing this. Beep, beep, beep. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay then, so I'm going to start by getting these headlights off. Just going to wonder these two M12 bolts. Same on the other side. That one's shorter, looks a bit weird. Again, put the bolt back in so we don't lose it. Find out where the wires go. And that is that. So that's the headlights off. So next, uh, we can get these clocks off. I think there's uh, two 10 millimeter bolts under there. I wonder if we can fit the rattle gun in there. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, which way is loosen? That way. If I remember quite right, if I remember rightly, these are quite. Uh, these are quite long as well. Don't know if we're getting a good enough grip. Yeah, there's one. There's two. they came from. It's quite stiff because they've got a uh, thread lock on. But it's always best to put your bolts back. Oh, what next? Okay, so next we'll get these front brakes off. Just put them back on to make sure it won't interfere with the mud guard in any way. The O's removed. Now we can undo these. They're only hand tight. That's it. Put the bolt back in. Same on the other side. Get both bolts out. Hold your finger tight. Bolts back in. Then we can get uh, the brake calipers out the way. Very dusty brake calipers. Okay, so next we can move this seat. Let's take that bit off. And then we've got my own made bracket underneath probably see it under there I use this camera let me try and hold you in the hand oh, there we go oh no please don't Please don't. Try again. There we go. There we go. So that's the seat off. Oh. Okay, so next I'm going to get these footrests off. Pin and a little split pin at the back, which are probably rusty as hell. Hopefully, I can get it out with a pair of pliers and a little sharp point. 
Hopefully you can see that there. Pretty rotten. Get your little spike in the hole and hopefully you can pull it. We get some pliers on the other end. Not as easy as it looks. Now that bit's broke off. Told you it's going to be fun and games, didn't I? Trying to straighten that bit, there's a little bit sticking out. You can tap it through. See what I mean? And if we could be so hard just to get one of these off, would you? Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is use this file to file away this rusty pin. Now hopefully turn the pin round, then we've got to try and file that side. Right, so hopefully that's enough. Try and tap it through with the hammer. Let's get an hammer off the hammer rack. Hammer rack. See if we can tap it through. Oh yes. Oh yes. Here we can get the pliers. And hopefully it'll come through. And there you go. Drop the hammer on your foot. Yes, there you go. No five pound tins of uh, WD-40 required. So that's that. I won't show me. I won't show you me doing the other one because that will be just as odd. So what next? Okay then. So next we can get the back wheel off. Uh, there's no nut on there, so I'll just tap it through. Put some gloves on because I don't want to get my hands filthy dirty. So that spacer fell off first, so put that on first. Push with this side, push that back in there. And then we put that back on there. I do remember buying a new axle for this because we couldn't find a bloody nut for the axle when I bought the bike. So I had to buy a new axle. Well, not a new one. A replacement. About 15 quid, I think, just for the axle and the bloody nut. Jesus. But when you've got to have it, you've got to have it. You? So what next? There's an empty space. Where you used to be
in the Okay, next job. Let's get this torque arm off. There's one bolt here, it's got an Allen key on my case. This is not going to turn. Might get away with it. There's the knot. There is a knot off. Knot off. Tell you what, for a torque arm, this torque arm don't say a lot. Squeaky squeaky. A bit of grease inside. And here we go. Last one. Oops, dropped it. Come on, come off without no scraping the cord. But there we are. One talking arm that's pretty quiet. Just leave that there with the wheel. Whack it on there. Mind you, it's probably best to put it over the disc first, isn't it? Let's put that over the disc and then. Push that through there like that. And go and store that in the shed. Okay then next we can get these dog legs on done. Get the shock out. I've already cracked that one. Just gonna crack this one. Uh, the 14 millimeter. Uh, get a 14 millimeter spanner on the other side. Get the rattle gun. Get the bolt stuck in the socket. Let's see with the other one. Spanner on the other side. I can't get it on because of that spring. I can now. Uh, sitting here for hours waiting to film and I thought it stopped but no he's back again what a fucking racket pardon my French let's get the breakable on it hopefully the spanner don't break Broken 
no. Oh shit. It's dropping my foot. Chances of one doing this all the way without putting another on the other side. Looking pretty good. Come on, don't lose it. Now that's another one. Got a washer on it as well. One washer. See if we can tap that for it. No chance. Right then, this is the other side. Don't forget to slint in the uh, lens too much. By the way, how do you like my new lens? Just put a brand new lens in the camera. Oh, Big hammer, brass chisel. Let's try that. Side, so, oh man, the old metal man's back. I'm going to use an extension bar so I can reach it as tight with my gun. You never know, it might break free. Like so. <laughs> Uh, better get around the other side, innit? So I can grab it because I don't want it to drop on the floor. There we go. Leave that there for a minute. 
it. There we go. One shocking shock. Right back in there. But that looks pretty recent to me. Don't look that old. date on the stamp or whatever. No misting or weeping. There's a bit of a corrosion on the damper rod. But uh, I think that's all perfectly usable. I know, let's go and get a World War II hand grenade and uh, go over there and blow that garden up. I don't know if he's uh, doing the garden or if he's making uh, an underground bunker. All right, so this is a different day from the last clip, as you can probably tell by my warmer attire. It's true what they say, be careful what you wish for. So now we're going to be removing the swing arm. And on this side of the swing arm, it is a 17mm socket. And on this side, it's a different size socket. It's a 19mm socket. So this side is a knot and the other side is the bolt and uh, these are the tools I will be using. There let's whack the 19 on there, get the breaker bar on there and go around to the other side. And I can put my 17mm socket on there and I can put my ratchet on there like so then I'm going to use my gas pipe as an extension bar as usual for the extra oomph get my ratchet set so I can hold on to that and hopefully you can go past that without hitting it. And as I thought, it's going to be very tight. Jesus. I might even incorporate my foot. Jesus, how can you get that so tight? Don't let the frame fall over. Whatever you do. <laughs> my God, that is tight. Get it up there somewhere. <laughs> so if you're thinking about doing this and you've only got minimum tools, I would think again. Because some bolts can be very, very tight. there like so 
can go around the other side. Try and grab the bolts. There she comes. Take the weight of the swing on. No shims or anything on the other side. There we go. Oh. And that is that. We've just got to get this rubber thing off, and then we've got to get this knuckle off. Okay, so this should be a 13 mil socket. We're going to get this on. Oh, it's on in the wrong place. Okay, so put this on there. See how tight it is. Very tight. Socket on there. Put 30 mil spanner on there, and away we go. There we go. These bushes don't come out because you could lose them. I think that one goes straight through actually. Yeah, that one just goes straight through. But, uh, watch the bushes on here because they could just fall out and there is oil seals around there as well. See, there's a spike there. What this sticks through, and there's a little collar there. If we just pull that up over the collar, push it down, it'll come off like so. So that's it. Okay then, so that's as far as we're going in this video. Still got the front end to do, but uh, time is cracking on. I think the video is long enough. So we'll do this front end in another video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's been of some help to you CBR fans. And I hope it's been entertaining. And it's helped me out if you guys could leave some feedback on your thoughts. So drop me a comment and let me know what you're thinking. And hopefully we can come up with something really special. So stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another
brother. 